Okay, so now let's talk volume. So, volume so is the space inside the shape. However, when you look at volume, let's have a look at this shape. So this is a rectangle, and this part of the rectangle is called our area. So if I want to put something on the area, it's not going to stick. However, if I, voila, if I do this, now we still have the area at the bottom, but now we have also something called height. So therefore, it creates a space on the inside. And now we can easily place items inside. Let's have a look at another shape. This is a Tupperware. In some families you will be disowned if you don't return this. Um, I'm holding on to this one because this is the last one I have. My food has been put into ice cream containers now. Shout out to my sisters. Now, if you look at this at the bottom, or on the inside, you will see that there we have a rectangular shape and this gives us our area on the inside. But if I turn, then we have a height. And this height is critical because this height creates the volume, the space on the inside, which we can now use to store items in. Let's have a look at a different shape. Here we have a bottle, water bottle. If we turn the bottle, then we see that there we have a circle. But if we put the bottle upright, we now have a height and we are able to put liquids on the inside of the bottle. Now, what does that mean for us? That means that volume is quite easy at the end of the day because to calculate volume of any shape, this is the volume of any shape. We only need area times height. So if we do the volume of a, let's say, a circle, then the area of a circle is pi radius squared and then we just put it at height. And this gives us a formula for the volume of a circle. And that is basically all you have to know, is that when we talk about volume, volume consists out of two things. It is an area as well as a height. Now in our area, we know that the answer is going to be squared times another dimension. That is why I say that volume is a three dimensional shape because it consists of a length, breadth, and a height. So, so if we have the volume of a rectangle, then we say it is going to be length times breadth. This is the area of a rectangle. And we put another dimension in there to give us the height of the triangle. And that is how we calculate volume.